Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Karen Swenson. First, we're going to talk about COVID. And with new COVID cases surging in New Orleans, the French Quarter Fest is set to make a major announcement next week. Eyewitness News has learned they're moving that festival from spring to fall. Paul Murphy reports. The French Quarter Festival bills itself as the world's largest showcase of Louisiana music. It was supposed to run from April 8th through April 11th. Sources tell WWL-TV the festival is now expected to be postponed until this fall because of coronavirus public health concerns. The new possible dates, September 30th through October 3rd. Miguel Barras is a veteran sound and staging provider in New Orleans. He's not surprised the festival is moving to the fall. There's no official word yet, but that's that's the word that's going around. Barras said by now he would have been involved in advanced planning for the upcoming festival season. He was anxious to get back to work after being laid off for the last nine months. It's a real gut punch for the industry and for myself and for lots of my coworkers and friends. Um, but it's just uh, it's what has to be done, I suppose. New Orleans is at a critical point in the pandemic. Friday, the city moved back to a modified phase one, which placed tighter restrictions on stores, restaurants, bars, and public gatherings. Times Picayune New Orleans advocate, music and entertainment writer Keith Sparrow said, it's not likely large festivals can or will be held in the city this spring. Based on the circumstances, based on where we're at, based on everything that goes into these festivals, you know, despite the wishes of many music fans and musicians who want to get out there and play and enjoy some live music, it just doesn't seem like this spring is going to happen. The New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival could also shift to this fall. A spokesman for the annual late April, early May event at the New Orleans Fairgrounds had nothing to announce at this time. You know, Jazz Fest typically announces its talent lineup third week in January thereabouts. So that's coming up. That would make sense for them to say whether or not it's going to be in the springtime or in the fall around that time frame. People who work New Orleans festivals are now hoping what could be a quiet spring leads to a very busy fall. The best thing we can do is to be prepared for it when it's when it does happen. And like I said, as of right now, we're looking at October, the October time. As for the French Quarter Fest, a spokeswoman declined to comment at this time, but confirmed a possible announcement as early as next Thursday. Last year, the festival was postponed until fall, then canceled altogether. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Well, the mega entertainment company Live Nation runs Voodoo Fest in Books Acts at the Smoothie King Center and for the House of Blues. Now, there are no shows scheduled at the Smoothie King Center until May. The first concert coming up at the House of Blues is at the end of March. Well, Live Nation's president said recently he expects full capacity at outdoor shows by the summer and told to CNBC a few weeks ago, quote, it continues to be our expectation that by summer we're back with our major outdoor shows. He goes on to say that some 20 million music fans are still holding on to those tickets to Live Nation shows that have been rescheduled due to the pandemic.